I know you grew up in uh, Santa Barbara. Uh, I grew up in California myself. Um, sounds like a pretty sane place to grow up in. Uh, always seem to have the entrepreneurial spirit because I heard the story about you being a paper girl. I think the first one in your area when you're about eight years old. But then an incident happens. I want to kind of talk about that. Can you discuss that story? Well, let's see. Many incidents happened. Um, are you referring to during the paper route days? Yeah, when uh, the fella wanted to know why a girl was doing a boy's job. So, so w- when when I was growing up, um, I just I was dreaming of having a paper route. I, I was, you know, that kid that was going door to door selling things. That I know, Adam, you uh, are very entrepreneurial as a kid yourself, and. Uh, I, when I finally came of age, my dad shows me this article in our local newspaper that said, newspaper carrier wanted, are you the boy for the job? And I I know dad did that to get a reaction out of me. And I wrote a letter to the newspaper. I said, I'm not the boy, I'm the girl. I can do this just as well as any boy. And the first day, the papers were really, really thick. And I was a really scrawny kid. And I couldn't even lift a sack. I had to crawl under <laughs> on my belly and try to, to carry you know all the papers. I'd get rid of the papers in the front of the sack and the weight would choke me back. Anyway, it was it, it was a, a good challenge. And I'm pedal the first day I'm pedaling up the hill and I noticed this man, he's standing at the end of his driveway, looks super agitated, his face is all red, and I hand him his paper. And he starts yelling at me and he says, this is a boy's job. You have no business being here. You're never going to last. And I mean, it was really harsh, but I, I mean, I got to say, I'm, I'm grateful to this day because there were a lot of days when I felt like quitting, but there was no way I was going to let that man uh, stop me from my dream. And my dad always said, you know, Kathy, give 110%. If the customer expects the paper on the driveway, you put it on the front porch. And it's the foundation of our business today. And it's, uh, you know, when a team member does a, a great job, we say you got it on the front porch. Oh, that's interesting. Shut down all the oil pipelines. Shut down all the fracking. Shut down all. Okay, yeah. that's part one. Part two is we have to now buy fuel from the scariest people on the planet. And when I go home to California, it's 575 a fucking gallon. That's part two. 